So, you know, myself, I, I kind of like calling myself a gypsy. <laughs> Um, but the term that is sort of uh, used and is becoming used quite widely right now is digital nomad. We started to become a whole sort of generation and I guess a movement of people that uh, work primarily digitally. Um, and so we are way more free to move around the world while staying doing our work. I have the sort of pathological curiosity for the diversity of our environment, the nature and the landscapes of this planet. Um, but also the cultures and the traditions and languages. There's so much to discover. And more than even to discover, there's just so much to connect. For me, it's not about reproducing what exists. It's sort of looking at it, looking at these shapes, at these colors, at these stories, and transforming them. Remixing it in a new way, changing the scale of things, um, and then adding the layer of magic and imagination. Let's say, looking at the microscopic, um, pictures of the cell and then using that to design sort of the ocean floor textures. For me that's the way to go to create really interesting new environments. I'm so passionate about sort of education, entertainment, merging and finding new ways to allow people to discover our world. This is a great way to be like, oh, like I look at this thing and it's so incredible. Um, I love it. And then you're like, oh, oh, that's actually like Islamic calligraphy. If, if I would have told you that at first, you might be like, oh, like I'm, you know, I don't like that culture. I'm not into, you know, whatever biases that you have. Um, but if you don't know about it at first, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll discover it with a, with a, in a much more open manner. It's really not about storytelling anymore. Storytelling is part of it but it's really about story experience. The power of immersive media technology um, could be truly transformative because we wouldn't be telling people anymore, oh, you know, climate change is bad. We can put you into alternative scenarios of you know, where we take care of our environment or we destroy our environment and we let you walk through that world. Content is power. You know, media is the modern day mythology. It builds the foundations of a civilization. It's a sort of, it's, it's like a proxy for us to see the real world in a new way. But so you could come back, not to isolate, not to make you think that the digital world is better, but you know, how through that we could engage with the real world in a more open and a kinder and more caring way.